Hello, hello, folks, and welcome back to Half-Life Blue Shift. I have already tried to record this. I'm actually after going a fair bit in, but I'm not quite happy with that footage. So I'm not going to restart here. I think here, yeah, puts me back a bit further than I like. But maybe I'll go with that. Thank you. I, for whatever reason, I couldn't reload there. <sighs> yeah, well, you know what? We'll go through here again. I know there's no way past without grenades. Without taking a bit, fair bit of damage. Okay, creep around. There we go. Not as painless as I would have liked, but there we go. So we got access to these, which will be very useful. And we got a health kit, which is something. We also got grenades for a gun I do not have yet. Which isn't the, the most useful of things, let's be honest here. But... It'll do, you know? It'd be nice if they worked in the uh, ability to turn off the flashing lights. Just as a thing to fiddle with, you know? Okay. That wasn't actually fully open, so I'm surprised I could get in. I forgot that happened. <laughs> but I didn't forget. You! I just failed to kill you. My accuracy is terrible. Okay, I, I didn't end up putting me back too far anyway. And it's probably for the best. Uh, I went back. Because now I can get more health. Probably, actually, probably should switch to this gun. This is what you're meant to do? Assume so. Yeah, that's what you're meant to do. Alright. I was just guessing. You know, that is no way confident. Uh, here's the thing. I'm just glad the water is slightly higher, otherwise, this would be impassable. Then again, I'm surprised it isn't impassable as is. A fair bit of ammo had to go into them to kill it. Bit annoying. Shotgun, two shells will kill it, but at the same time, I've got so much ammo of this, I feel horrendous. What? You're just using the shoddy. Because I've so little of that. Also, no, there isn't anything under the um, elevator. I checked. So anyway, this time I should actually get through here with a bit of health. Uh, when I re-recorded it um, a moment ago, I did manage to actually do exactly that. Ha! Ha! What's so interesting, Roach? Uh, pardon me, it's honestly waiting for it to turn out for it to turn out that those are like alien roaches. From Mars! Or whatever. Ass! Uh, head crabs these days. Not a matter among them. And. Here. Shotgun. Shotgun. Whoa! Ow! Wait, when did I get the extra ammo? I must have run into it here, but when did I do so? I 
no idea. I just gotta hope I keep doing so. You know, if I ever have to run back through here again. Uh, but, you know, re-recording or whatever. Uh, there, that one's down. And I need to remember Vortigaunt around the corner. Vortigaunt's there. Boom. Ah. Reload. For sake. I don't know what happened there. Somehow I didn't shotgun it. And I don't think I missed. Was there an invisible wall here or something? Probably want to say in some game when if you hit an invisible wall that's like just like t tin air, you actually bolt holes in the air. And it's kind of hoping this will be the same, but no, I don't think so. There we go. Reload, please. You won't have to crowbar Vortigaunt. Probably wouldn't be the healthiest of maneuvers. I wonder, can there be a, a Vort Vortigaunt zombie? You know? Can there be such a thing? I, w I wouldn't be surprised, but at the same time, the Vortigaunts were... Well, are... Pretty powerful. You know? As you would see, remember at the... Um, well, actually, you, you wouldn't see that yet. I didn't do episode one. Yes, that's right. Never mind, never mind what I'm saying then. Basically, there's something in episode one that, um, well, makes me think that, um, maybe there'll be, like, one of the few things that couldn't be messed with by head crabs. It's nothing to do with head crabs, it's to do with something else, but it shows that they're pa they've great power, you know, kind of thing. Damn it, I was hoping to ambush it, but it doesn't quite work. What, no crispy critters? Oh, oh, so speaking of crispy critters, I, um, there's a new StarCraft coming out soon. Well, by soon from where I'm standing, which is the 27th of March. New StarCraft, um, it's a remastering of the first. It's a remastering of the first one. Boom. Jeez, thank you. Normally the guy actually spawns in, but there, no. I think it's because the uh, the explosive containers were still around. You know? There we go. We got through here with a lot more health. We'll save, and we'll have this up. Ah, that was a waste. There's another headcrab that will attack if you go that way, so I'm going this way. There's no benefit to being attacked by an extra headcrab. The headcrabs don't give any loot, they don't do anything for you, you know? So, I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, also, headcrab down here. Let's see how they enjoy their present day. Eh? Oh. Oh, that's a shame. Ah, well. And true. We go this way and get some stuff. Oh, cool. Uh, ladies playing um, Counter-Strike. Not sure if you can see what's in the bottom right. Uh, but yeah, she's playing Counter-Strike. <laughs> nice. Good thing this door was closed, otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. 
We were on our way to one of the old prototype labs when we ran into them. But listen to me. If you still want to get out of here alive, your only hope may be to find my friend. <coughs> if you can get past the soldiers, find Dr. Rosenberg. With him, you may have a chance to get out of this place. Rosenberg, I swear, was referenced in um, uh, Half-Life 2, but I've... Whoa! But I know, remember little about him. Just reload or well, ambush him when it comes around the corner. Because that did not work out well. The first time it did, I just stood there and f kept firing and he died. This time, not so much. I don't think he's moving. Well, now he is. So, moving on. Hmm, looks like they're doing some remodeling down there. Huh. Hmm. Now, some guys at the very top there. I w I'm going to try some stupid. Save. Stop. Come on, stand up on the rails. Huck. Okay. That wasn't as stupid as I thought. I'm just in the wrong place. If I move up to here and throw. Okay. Getting close. Move up to here and then throw. It has to be at more of an angle. There. Damn it. I swear I hear Vortigons behind me. The soldiers to the front of me. And here I am, stuck in the middle with you. There was a hell kit in here, I didn't realize. First time I came through here, I didn't notice. And by first time, I mean the last time I recorded. No storage, keep clear. It's the storage room, though. Hope my whole life has been a lie. I say with barely any emotion in my voice. Don't know why they're going down like one at a time kind of thing. Oi! No flanking! Asses! Okay. Can't use here. Freight records. Yard manager. Can't use there. Use the manager of the yard. I choose to assume he manages the, the like the system of me measurement, not anything else. <laughs> Stout Barry. No, it's Barney. It's Barney. Yeah. How did you hear me? Ow. That was unnecessary. Fuck. Okay then. Think I got two? No, I thought I got two. Didn't. Okay, come on. Gotcha. Bit of ammo there. Not as much as I thought I would. I thought I'd have gotten three things of it, but I only got two bits. Whatever. My main thing is that I survive up here. Also, pop through. Fire! Ow! Get in, get in, get in. Uh. Grenades. Throw. Survives. That's what's important. 
I remember the first time I played through this, like, it was one of the first series I recorded. I was so obsessive about not losing any health. I would restart if I lost a tiny bit. I think the point was that if I was losing health, that I, I might reach a point where I couldn't get past because I was too low on resources and whatnot. Health and such. But it was very, very obsessive. I don't think they're firing on me. Also, I swear these plates are backwards or something. Huh. Hmm. Anything? Christ. We'll just stand over here and we'll... Hmm. Ah, we'll move on. They seem to have pissed off themselves anyway. It's like, eh, I broke a window. I can leave. Hmm? Okay, maybe that's the sign that I should go back upstairs, you know? Okay. Up here? Okay. There must be something I'm missing here. Something, I'm just not sure how obvious. Maybe I just approached the door? No. I don't have a code for it. Maybe if I fling a grenade in here. Wait. I got it? Oh, and I did actually get the guy. Nice. Though no blood. Thought I'd have left something. I figured this probably makes, it more, uh, makes up for it. The world's most indestructible yet pixelated windows. There, at least we can backtrack if we need to. Oh, I remember here. I remember like when I was recording it the first time through and all that. Reload, please. Okay, no one in here. Should get that security locker open though. He did send a chance. Booyah! Probably shouldn't have used that gun, uh, this ammo, but whatever. I've I've got plenty of it, of it now. Okay, let's make sure everything's reloaded before I go anywhere. I have plenty of ammo for that gun. Okay, two more shells to go in there, and I can't reload anything else. Uh, let's go in with the re uh, revolver. Christ. Hey, oi! Get back here! Okay. I'm not sure if they'll follow me through the loading screen. Also, now I can't re reload this gun. Also, I like how that's still there. Nice. <laughs> really, you forgot about me already. Great. It's still, still, it's good to see that the army's hiring those, you know, is equal opportunity employer. You know, it, it hires people without uh, with um, a, a constant amnesia. It's not like just like they forget what you know happened before a certain point. They've got a like a an amnesia that keeps triggering every so often. So, you know, you may have met them after the accident that caused the amnesia, but they will forget you again because. Their mind just keeps, shit, you know, recycling everything. Tossing everything into the recycling bin on a weekly basis. It's good to see that they, they can still get employment. Also, did they? No, that would be too much to hope for. For a moment, I thought they took themselves out. Like, they fired right at the... I was 
so really hoping that they were after taking themselves out. Would be would be useful for me. 